Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sunday's Illusion of Gaia. Last time we found out we weren't equipped. Um, we got through about halfway of the Ink and Ruins dungeon. That's kind of where we are right now. It has been many moons since I've played this and I don't remember anything of what I was doing. So please bear with me or don't for a moment while I reacquaint myself with what the heck I was doing. I think I did everything in here. It's been a moment. I think we were supposed to get some sort of a melody, which we have some herbs, 11 herbs and spices, two statues, some yiggity yak. I don't even know what a yak is. Is that a real thing? Is that a real animal, Pierce? Who knows? I don't. All right. Have I been in here yet? I don't know. I really honestly don't remember. Oh, here we go. New things to kill. All right, so there's plenty of fresh Mountain Dew in here. It's my problem with my Super Nintendo Sunday's format. There's a lot of time in between the things I do. I don't record these in batches because that's boring. And I'm also a pro Let's Player, so I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that to you. You're getting everything fresh off the dome. Right from the D Mike Plays factory of D Mike Industries. Well, it looks like if you just slash those boys fast enough, they can't even hit you. Pretty cool. Uh oh. This looks bad. Uh, do I have to kill? Eh, I probably gotta kill these guys. Let's do it. It's for the experiences. I mean, there isn't really experience in this game per se, but as we've learned, when you do dispatch your enemies, you get jewels, you get Jimmy Jams, although they're not technically gems, I don't know. They have to have a different name because the red gems are the ones that we send to Jim, the jeweler and get our little bonuses. All right, so we got more to do here. This is remarkably easier once you have Frieden or Ferdan. If anybody calls him Ferdan, do not watch this Let's Play. His name is Frieden. All right. So we're doing well. I'm gonna get our hip hops going on. All right, got a couple of these. Yeah, these definitely remind me of Legend of the Hidden Temple. I mean, I know the, the other things do too, but like, I don't know. And there's, I mean, there's nothing like really mysterious about it. I know that there's like, it's really hard to resist the urge to apply mysticism to ancient civilizations, but I guarantee, I mean, I don't want to say that they were the same as us, you know, modern humans, because they weren't, obviously. But, I don't know, it's just kind of silly, the lengths that some people will go to, to add these weird romanticized versions of these ancient groups. I don't know. All right, I think this is the one we were in earlier. Uh, okay, so no written I I've, I've, I don't know if that's true. Chant in the golden room. Does that mean play the melody of the wind? It does. It's exactly what it means, in fact. I don't know what going down does. I'm just gonna do a little exploring because I don't know what I'm doing. And I am bold enough. Okay, so this is the way forward. That's the golden room. Sorry. I'm proud enough and I have shame to admit that I don't know what I'm doing. As the saying goes, Wise men know what they do not know. So, there you go. I'm not calling myself a wise man after all, but maybe a wise guy. I'm sure I could probably pull that off. All right. So we should have enough time today to... So let's go and save real quick. I haven't said hi to Guy in a little bit. Hi, Mom. Hi, Sky Mommy. It's been a minute. You can change back into Will if you want. Wouldn't recommend that. There is actually a boss fight, surprisingly, at the end of this dungeon. And if you switch back to Will, you're going to have a heck of a time with it. So is it impossible? No. But I do know, I think from my previous, you know, foray into this game way back when with Mr. Jeff Lars, I did do it with uh, Will and it was a bad choice. So, OK, Red Jewel. As far as I know, that's the only Red Jewel in this entire dungeon. I think it's just the one. Unless we already got one, and then it's the two, so. Take that for what it's worth. Once you get that done, save your game, of course. 
I think this is actually just kind of the end of the dungeon. Come down here. And I want to say that there's a tile that it's going to light up and we need to have it do good things for us. Actually, wait, can we use... I don't know if Frieden can play... Oh, good gosh dang. All right, I forgot. I don't think it's required that you do this. I mean, you can't... It's part of the set design, so I'll do it. I don't want to do it, but I will. All right, we will switch to Will briefly. I think you could hopefully switch back to Frieden, because if you can't, then I'm going to be hopping mad. Return to young Will. Is Frieden old? Like, demonstrably old? I don't know. I mean, Will obviously is a child. He's still in school, playing hooky with his psychic powers. All right. We'll try that one more time. We are going to probably come back here, though. Like I mentioned before, I don't want to fight that boss as well. It would be miserable. The extended range of Frieden is something that you will learn to appreciate with some of these boss fights. All right, now. It's equipped. Let's play that tune. The gold block began to glow. Where? Oh, it's this one. Ha, huh, look at that. In previous attempts, when I was just meandering as Frieden, I couldn't find this. So that was fun. Is this... Did I, did I do it? There we go, okay. So, like I said, um, do not want to continue this portion as will. You can't make me do it, and I won't. So we're gonna go ahead and grab Frieden real quick. I don't know why they do it like this. They should honestly put the dark space in the bottom of the other room instead of this. Oh, he's a dark knight. Wow. Okay. So let's make sure everything is all situated. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save here. Saving before was good, but saving here is great. And we've got two lo two and a half lives. We love some nice DP. It's fun for probably two of the three P. Anyway, so going back down here, we've opened up the golden room. I think that that door should... Okay, good. I don't know what else there is to do. Oh, there is another dark space. Huh. I think this is it. Is there anything special about this? This is dumb. I just wasted your time, viewers. I'm sorry. Gaia, anything fun to say? They, Then you will fight a huge enemy. Okay, that's a little hint about the boss. Rick Ross, the boss. All right, so... We will see how we do. I don't know if there's anything else to do. What does this do? Oh. Uh. Okay. I think we need to actually put these statues in the thing. After all this time. Let's go and do this. Okay, looks like a loaf of bread. Or like a mushroom. Put mushroom on to mushroom head one. Okay, these heads always creep me out. All right, we've got three herbs though, so we should probably be okay, unless I really biff this fight, which I really hope I don't do. That's a weird sound. Uh, okay. Sir, where do we go now? Oh, step on the magic platform. Okay, I'm assuming that, uh, This is the boss fight here, so um, let's go ahead and do do that. It's been a while since I've done this one. All right, viewers, this is uh, the first boss of the game. This is Cast Off. Cast Cast Off. Ooh. 
You gotta get really good at dodge and geometry. I don't know anything about this. Oops. You gotta dodge this weird little uh, DVD player bounce around her. Whoop. Put your hands back up, boy. Whoa. Ouch. Stop. Alright. This is the only way that you can do damage to cast off at first is to attack his hands. You gotta kill those first somehow. I don't know if that makes any sense. Killing his hands. But you gotta get good at dodging and hand stabbing, I guess. It's not the easiest thing to do with the Super Nintendo controller. The D-pad is obviously not the most fun thing to use to run around. Okay. Stop. Yeah, this is kind of what Guy meant when she meant hiding behind him. You get down there. All right, put your hands up. Hands up. I'm not the police. I just want to have a good time. Oops. We're getting close. It definitely says what you're supposed to do, but I am not paying attention to that because there's a ton going on right now. In case you couldn't notice. Holy smokes, there's so much. Oh, you can do. Oh, you can hit his face then. Oops. I probably just wasted like two or three turns doing this. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's go ahead and dip into a uh, an herb. I'm not about to. I'm not about to mess this up. Ooh, things are getting a little dicey. All right, I think we should be able to. I think you can wail on him when his like head glows. Or something like that? Hold on. Just gonna mash that button. Mash it. Alright, and then take the herb. I'm playing a little fast and loose right now. Alright, and we need to get up top. And run into everything, of course. Yeah, this is brutal. You just gotta be very careful, I suppose. Alright, so that hand is dead. Looks like five hits, does it? I wasn't counting, but now I am, because I'm almost done with this fight. Alright, show me your face. I mean, he's already shown his face. Boom! Done, viewers. First try. I can be... I'll be completely honest, when I did this fight with Jeff Lars, we actually had to re-record this like 17 times, because I'm stupid and I used Will, and I also was not paying any attention. I was trying to co-commentate and do this at the same time, and it did not work, and Jeff graciously did this with me and I feel so bad for making him sit through that. Anyway, after the demon disappears, Will returns to his original shape. He has lost some weight. Not too bad. That fight wasn't horrible, right? Let's go ahead and enter the only way we can go now. Are we done in the dungeon view? Oh, looks like we're about to uh, jump down this rabbit hole. Uh oh. It's getting spooky in here, viewers. Well, oh, well, would you look at that? It's the Ink and Gold ship. And that is where we will leave things off for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been D Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with Illusion of Guy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.